Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah As I mentioned uh, from the book fair Some very beneficial uh, books And some of my last bit of books just arrived And from those beneficial books Absolutely fantastic And as I've said this prior to this that uh, those people who have Arabic do not miss any of Ben Othaymin's books. And this is, I think it's 15 volumes or something like this, 13, 14 volumes. And I just was walking over to Tafsir because I was going to read a benefit. And I came, and I just picked up my new books and I just opened this book. And this is also, this is from Durus wa Fatawa min Haramain Sharifain. So these are the Fatawa and from the Durus that Ben Othaymin gave in the... Masjid, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's Masjid and uh, Masjid Al-Haram in Mecca. And I just opened it. I just opened it to any page. I wasn't looking for anything because I actually was intending to read something from Tafsir. This is what I came across because it was very relevant regarding uh, knowledge. And there was a question asked to the Imam and it said, You lahav ala ba'd talabat al-ilm annuhum yatlabun al-ilm min ajli jaa. وَمَكَانَ وَعَلُو فِي الْأَرْضِ فَمَا عِلَاجِ ذَلِكَ وَإِذَا أَرَادَ أَحَدُ الطُّلَّابِ أَنْ يُكُونَ أَفْضَلَ مِنْ زَمِيلِهِ فَحَلْ هَذَا مِنْ أَرَادَةِ الْعَلُو فِي الْأَرْضِ أُمْ هُوَ مِنْ تَنَافِسِ الْمَحْمُودِ وَغَبْتَ الْمَحْمُودَ So the question was, uh, we, uh, I observe or it is observed that some of the students of knowledge, that when they they seek knowledge, or some of them they seek knowledge for the sake of gaining uh, status or position or um, to be raised up, you know, to become famous and, and raised up. So what's the, the medicine for this? And if one of the students wants to be better than his colleagues, is this from this wishing to be raised up in the earth? Or is this a, um, a positive competition, you know, a uh, positive and, and uh, that, that it's praiseworthy? And then Imam bin Uthameen, he responded, so we won't go through all the Arabic because it will take time. He said, from this question, there are two two ways uh, of this this way, this question includes two uh important statements and this is this shows you the faqih this imam how he looked at this and he just broke it down he says al fikra to ula he says the first way he says in the bad talabat al ilm yatlabun al ilm in ajli ja wa riyasa some of the students that they seek knowledge in order to gain position and status and to be raised up become famous he said no doubt that this is a wicked intention and that the student of knowledge, it is uh, imperative that he seeks knowledge for, this, for the, the pleasure of Allah. And it is not permissible except that they are seeking knowledge to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he mentions a hadith. And he says in the hadith of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, من تعلم علم مما يبتغى به وجه الله عز وجل لا يتعلمه إلا ليصيب به عرضا من من الدنيا لم يجد عرف الجنة يوم القيامة. So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in authentic hadith, and this hadith is mentioned أخرجه أبو داود وابن ماجة. And in this hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, whoever seeks knowledge, seeking uh, the face of Allah the Almighty, you know, seeking for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they do not seek it to gain, uh, or basically if they seek it to gain uh, something from this worldly, to gain worldly gain, then they will not smell the smell of paradise on the day of judgment. So Ben Arthimeen, he sought refuge in Allah from that. And then he said, and know, my brother, that seeking knowledge 
is for Allah. And if you do that, that you will you will gain that uh, position and that status and respect. Those things won't miss you. But if you seek it for other than Allah, and or even that you sought it to please other than Allah, then soon you will miss. All of that respect and all of that position, those that that position and status, that comes from the heart. So make your intention purely for Allah Azza wa Jal, and be truthful with Allah, and you will have a praiseworthy ending. You know, praiseworthy result. And then he mentioned another part of the question, but that was the main. Uh, crux of his answer. He actually got pretty far. It's it's quite a bit more text, but we just wanted to read that part of the answer, which was beneficial and a good reminder for us to make our intention for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we're trying to seek knowledge. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all uh, with ilm al nafiyah, rizqan tayyibah, wa amal al-muttaqabbilan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.